expedited testing can also help you uh, create test suits or the executions on the fly along with the test cases. So expedited testing is basically an extension that is utilized for creating test cases on the fly, as well as it can be utilized for creating bugs on the fly. Now, let's say if I go to amazon.com and I want to go ahead and create a test case for this particular UI. All you have to do is click on this extension, provide your QMetry URL and the exploratory testing API. So if I go back to my test management, in exploratory testing, you can see this is where you will get your own API for exploratory testing, and you can download the extension from here itself. Now, once you are on the web UI, just click on the extension, provide these details, click on login, and select the project in which you want to create your session. Let's say I select Acme Corp, provide the session name. Let's say this is ZS Amazon session. Select the platform that you're testing against. You can add tags to it as well. Let's say this is the ZS tag that I want to add. Regression is what I want to add as well, and any notes. And then record console and network log as well. Click on start. And now this session would be recorded as you navigate through the UI. So let's say I'm looking for, let's say, COVID test kit. And then I click on the search icon. And let's say I want to utilize the first result. So this is the one I want to test for. And for example, if this is a price that I want to check against, I can just go ahead and click on the extension. And in the extension, you would see we have assertion option available as well as creating a bug option available. So what I mean by assertion is once you're on the UI, you have some expected outcome that is expected. So you can utilize the assertions to add that expected outcome as well as you have the bug icon where you can basically click on the bug icon and it will go ahead and create a bug directly within Qmetry as well as the same would be available within Jira. And the bug that you create would be associated to our session as well. So here you can see that we have the assertions available. So this is where you can add your assertion. We also can do voiceovers. You can pause your session and we have the log issue while creating a bug on the fly as well. So if you click on the bug icon, this will basically take a screenshot of the UI that we were on. We can do annotations by text or by doing a marking directly. Select your Jira instance that you want to replicate it back to. Select the project which you want to replicate it back to and the issue type. And then you'll get the metadata. So you have the summary, the priority assignment, all of those details. So let's say this is issue with rising font. Let's say the assignee is myself. So I can go down and look at all the assignees from my Jira. and provide some description and click on log issue. Now from the session, we have basically gone ahead and logged an issue. If you're done with our session, go back to the UI where you are recording from, hit the icon and then basically click on stop recording. Now, once you click on stop recording, the UI that we navigated through all of those details will be uploaded back to our test management. If I go back to the test management, hit refresh, you would see that our session has been created and now, it is still in progress since it is uploading all the UI and the network logs. We have one defect that was created. Now let's have a look at the defect. So you can see we have our session and the defect was associated against that session as well as we have the entity key available within Qmetry as well as we have an external key. So if I click on the external key, this is the bug that it created within your Jira as well. The screenshot that we took during navigation, you have the screenshot available as well in your, atta in your bugs attachment. Now from here, if I go to the screens, you can see these are the screens that we navigated through. We have annotation in red arrow of where to click on. So a validation document can be created as well. If I go to the document, you can see these are the steps that we navigated through. The step details have been captured automatically. If you had added assertions, it would be available in your expected outcome. So launch amazon.com, click here. So rather than click here, you can say click on search and then type COVID test kit in the text box field and then click on go from here let's say if i go to the console logs you can see we have the console logs available as well which can help you troubleshoot if there are any ui issues 
if I go to the network logs, you'll be able to see all the network logs available as well. So any 401, 404, you can see we have a 404 right here. So all those details for your specific web UI, you can basically get them right here itself. Now from here, you can click on create a test case and create a test case within Qometry. You can also go ahead and basically export your session to Word or even to PDF. So let's say we click on export to PDF. Once we click on export to PDF, you, get, you would see that a PDF would be available which will contain the session details. The bug hyperlink would be available. And then you have step one with a screenshot, step details, input data, the expected outcome. So we basically have a validation document available which can be shared to your QMS as well if this is what you want to add as the result of your execution. Now from here, you can also click on create test execution. So a test suite can be created directly from uh, the session as well. 